part two project development process um, okay in our last step so we're on step 15 now in our last step um, we introduced some errors um, when we when we changed uh, min max x y uh, to side we're using side here instead um, so what's going on here? Um, the min max xy variable is an int. Let's just verify that here. So min max xy, yep, that's an int. And uh, and we replaced it with side, which is a float. So we're using side here now. And inside, we, we decided to make side a float. Now, the reason we're making it a float, I mean, we have a good reason for doing this. We're, we're working with, we're moving over to logical coordinates, and logical coordinates um, are, are made in floats, right? So we want to, um, we do want floats here. But, um, And says this changed three of the arguments we passed to checker from ints to floats. Okay, so we changed this argument gets changed to a float. Just the fact that there's a float in this um, expression um, makes the whole expression a float. Okay, so even though um, x center is an int, putting side in there makes this whole thing a float. And similarly, then this becomes a float. And even though 8 is an int, if we do a float divided by an int, we get a float as a result. And that kind of makes sense, right? If, you're, um, um, if you have a real number in an expression, then um, it makes sense to, to um, allow for uh, the, the result of that expression to be a real number, right? So, um, let's see. All right, oh, so what, what we want to do is um, oh, fix the method signature for checker. Okay, so let's do that. So checker now then wants, um, still wants the graphic context as the first um, parameter here, but then it wants float, float, int still here. That makes sense because the number of sides is always going to be an integer, but then the last um, parameter needs to be a float. So the second, third, and last parameters we want to be floats. So let's fix that. So let's say, so that's our x, oops. So our x and y's, our x and y becomes floats. That makes sense, right? We want our, our basic x and y, those, those vertices there to be floats. And then the width of our, our or the side length of our, our square is going to be a float. But then look, ah! We made another problem for ourselves. Look at this set vertices for next board square is not happy now. So we're going to have to take care of that in our next step. 